June 20th. It is about 7.30 in the morning, a little after. I'm sitting here enjoying some coffee. My Somerset Camp mug, which they are still, the pre-order is still up in the Etsy shop. I'll link that down below if you want to grab a mug. It won't be open too much longer because I want to close that and get those ordered. But today I have some work to get done, a tutorial to record. I'm going to do an Instagram live for Somerset Camp check-in. Right now I'm going to drink some coffee and do my 30 minutes of knitting on my beekeeper cardigan. I really, really love that 30 minutes every morning while I'm having my coffee. It helps me to see some progress on my sweater and it's just such a nice calming start to the day. Just finished some cleaning. I'm getting ready to do the Instagram live for the summer sock camp check-in this week's live. Letting the dogs in. Um, here in about eight minutes, I'm gonna start that. Austin is, he walked to Sonic with a friend and Eric took Wyatt to get a haircut and then to go to look for another, I got like, baby hairs that are going a little crazy. Um, he took Wyatt to look for another model plane because I don't even know how many he's done these past couple of weeks, but he doesn't have any currently to do. So he took him to go see if he could find another model plane for him to do this weekend or today. If he finds one, it'll probably be done today. <laughs> I recorded before I did my cleaning, the, I don't know if I've talked about this. I think I talked about it on the podcast. So I'm doing a tutorial for how to change colors for like a contrasting cuff, slip stitch heel flap, heel turn, and toe. That was like one of the most requested things I've had with Sock Camp was specifically a slip stitch heel flap and turn. When do you change your colors for that? So I am doing a tutorial. I recorded just how you start the heel flap with a contrasting color. And hopefully I will get the heel turn recorded a little later today. Like when you start back up with the main color after the heel turn. And then I can get the foot done and record the toe either tomorrow or Monday and then put that tutorial together and still have it go up next week as I had planned with our trip. So that way there'll still be a tutorial going up next week for sock camp. Sorry, I keep hitting my arm and it bumps the camera. <laughs> and then I got together my June Desert Vista Dye Work socks because I still have not started them. They are in this Daisy Girl and Company bag. And then I've split them for two at a time and I have them in these cute little yarn cozies that my friend Karen sent me. So these are ready to go. The needles are in here. The notions are in here. I'm hoping to get them started today and then they'll have the, like, I hope to get the legs, not the legs, good grief. I hope to get the cuffs done today 
and then set this aside to have for travel knitting. I'm gonna take this on the plane along with my beekeeper cardigan, which I split for the sleeves for. I did over 30 minutes of knitting this morning because I had a bit of an issue with the pattern, I guess. I don't know, I, I don't know. I did not like that there were not specific instructions for do X amount of pattern repeats. It was kind of like fit these little bees in the pattern in when you can. And then when you had to cast on like stitches for the underarm, when you were splitting for the sleeves, it was like cast on this many, but if you have to adjust that to keep the bees in line, do that. And I'm like, I just wish that would have been done for me. I didn't like having to figure that out myself. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I was just being lazy this morning and not wanting to figure all that out myself. I just kind of wish that would have been done in the pattern for each size, telling you what you needed, how many pattern repeats, and then telling you how many you needed to do in the underarm. I don't know. I just feel like that should have been done in the pattern, but I figured it out. I did not have to cast on any. I actually decreased one. I hope this sweater fits me when I'm done. I tried it on after I did like another pattern repeat after I split for the sleeves and it fits and it, I know it's going to block, like it's going to stretch when I block it. So I think it'll be a perfect fit because I want this one to be not like super negative ease fitted, but I want it to be a fitted cardigan and not close in the front. That's just kind of the look I want for this. So I think it's going to be good um but yeah I ended up having to actually decrease and not even cast any on it was interesting it was too much thinking this morning before I had had all of my coffee but by the time I was done I had finished both cups of coffee and gotten like another pattern repeat past the split for the sleeves so I'm I still think I'll do my I was gonna say I don't know that I'll do my 30 minutes of sweater knitting in the mornings until like I won't, don't know that I'll work on that until the trip. I may save the body for the trip because right now there's no increases or decreases. It's just the pattern repeat for, you know, X amount of inches down the body. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on it. Do I wanna do my 30 minutes of knitting on that in the morning or I could work on something else for 30 minutes in the morning while I have my coffee? I don't know if you can hear Emmy crying. She does this sometimes when Wyatt leaves. She's gonna be so sad when he's gone next week. So sad. Okay, what time is it? I probably only have a couple of minutes left. Yep, need to quit chatting and get the Instagram Live set up and ready to go. I can't wait to chat with you guys. I've really, I was so nervous to do those Instagram Lives when I did the first one. I've never done one before because they just seemed terrifying, but I'm actually really enjoying them. It's been so fun to get to chat with everybody and feel like I'm getting to know everybody a little better. So I'm gonna hop on there. I can't believe I have an empty house to do this. I was like, where am I gonna do this out today? Because everybody's home on Saturday. Everybody's gone. We shall see if they remain gone for the entire live video. <laughs> <sighs> I just finished the Instagram live. It was so much fun. I really love doing those videos. I'm going to be sad when sock cam's over and I think that regular little live videos are going to have to become a thing because I've just come to enjoy getting to chat with everybody like that instant interaction with all of you has been so much fun. I worked on this sock very, very little bit. Oh, all the yarn's all tangled from where I put it over there after I was done. So just from the cuff up is all I did. This is Dragon Horde yarn in the tarot colorway. I've had this for so long. I kind of went through and was like, okay, grab a, a yarn you've had for a while and get that caked up. So I started that on Thursday when Austin had his basketball scrimmage. And I did the cuff that evening and now it's ready for the leg. It'll probably go to West Virginia with me. It'll be some good travel knitting. I'm like taking everything. I'm probably not gonna get that much knitting time. 
so did I, sh yes, I showed you guys the, I have my Desert Vista Dye Works stuff ready and in the bag. So I've got my lunch in the oven right now. I'm just warming up some leftovers from last night. I'm gonna have lunch and then cast on those two at a time socks. I'm planning to do a tutorial, hopefully next month for two at a time socks, cuff down with heel flop and gusset. So this month I'm kind of refreshing myself with it because it's been a bit and I wanna be comfortable with it before I cast on and get started with the tutorial. So that's what these will be. I wanna get them started today. I start them separately and then combine them on the magic loop. So like I do one, then cuff all the way on magic loop, then transfer it to DPNs and just hold it on two DPNs until I finish the other cuff on the magic loop. And then I put the first cuff back on and knit away. That may sound kind of confusing, but it's so much easier for me than trying to start two cuffs and knit two cuffs because it can be so fiddly when you first start out. So start one at a time and then combine them after the cuffs. That's kind of my little tip there for y'all. And I will show all that in the tutorial next month. Okay, I'm gonna go see how much longer I have left for my lunch to be done, eat, and then do some knitting. I still have an empty house. Nobody's back home yet, so it's nice and quiet. I have recently had a ton of questions about one, how many socks do I have that I've knit for myself? And two, how do I store my socks? So these are the socks that are upstairs. I have more downstairs that I'll show you in just a moment. These are all mine, <laughs> but they are in these, they're ornament containers. Sorry, you can see the reflection from the fan. They're ornament containers that have a like little adjustable dividers. Actually don't think I have these, those dividers in either of these because they're completely full, but I just have them folded up in here. So this is the first one. Did a quick count. There's 43 pairs in here. So let's see about the second one. It's full as well. Just have them folded up and placed in here. So these are the ones that are upstairs. I'm gonna count how many is in here in just a moment. And then I will show you kind of the overflow because I could not find any of these containers this past Christmas. I didn't look until the end of like the Christmas season and they were all sold out by that point. Um, so I need to get another one of these for myself because I have no more room in these. Probably just means I should gift more of my socks, but I don't know. Okay, let's see how many's in here. Forty-two in here, so what eighty-five total between these two containers? I'm gonna put these up and we're gonna go check out the overflow downstairs. Okay, come into my office. Let me move Eric's work bag here out of the way. This cabinet that I got from Target holds like all of my hand knit sweaters. I have my a couple of my blankets, some shawls, and then just like accessories, um, fingerless mitts, hats, cowls, that type of stuff. There's Eric's finished socks for Father's Day. He knew I was making them for him, but he didn't know they were for Father's Day. So I'm gonna give those to him tomorrow. And let's take a peek inside of here. So I've just got a ton of stuff. There's, these are all shawls with the exception of that. That's my olive leaf pullover, which I still need to get finished object pictures of, by the way. Then I have a, my corner to corner. Goodness, I blanked on the name. And then just a bunch of cardigans. There's another shawl, it's a wrap, sweaters. Some scrappy Sunday mugs for my knit group who I haven't seen to give them to. And then there's a bunch of socks here. So I'm going to pull all of the socks out so that we can see how many are down here. 
All right, here's all of the ones that were in the cabinet. So 16 pairs were in the cabinet. Oh, and those on the wall. <laughs> so 17 pairs down here. That's a lot of socks. A lot of these are designs, a couple just vanilla socks, some scrappy socks, and then some Desert, Desert Vista Dye Work socks. But all of these would be upstairs if I had more room in my containers or another container. So I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for another one this coming holiday season. So if I've done the math correctly, that's 102 pairs of socks for myself. There you have it. 102 pairs of socks. I'm not the crazy sock lady for, for no reason. <laughs> there is a reason. <laughs> I knit a lot of socks and those are just the ones that I've kept. I do gift a lot of them to my mother-in-law, Wyatt, Eric as well. So yeah, now I'm gonna clean up all of this and I'm gonna go knit and maybe watch some podcasts because I'm so, so behind on all of the podcasts. Just finished recording the tutorial for how to do your contrasting heel and then I've started back with the main collar so now I'm gonna pick up my gusset stitches and start on the foot of the sock I don't know if I'm gonna get it done in time to record the toe and edit it why it's watching me like you don't know if you're gonna get it done before I leave but I'm gonna try so I'm probably gonna work on this a bunch tonight. I still need to start these, so I'm gonna, definitely gonna get started and hopefully get at least one done. I can't believe we leave for West Virginia in just a couple of days, and I feel like I have so much to get done before we go. We've gotten a lot of that done. Whoa, there's a little guy in there. Do you name your pilots? I think he's a real pilot. Oh, he already has a name, I thought, maybe. Major Jill Long. Jill? Yeah. J-I-L-L? -L? Jill Long. Pretty cool. All right, let's see how much knitting I can get done. Eric just went to put some hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill for dinner, and I'm going to make a salad in just a bit. So that'll be dinner done and easy for the evening. We'll see what we get up to. Wyatt's probably going to sit here and work on his model all evening. I'll get some knitting done. Austin's upstairs. I think he's playing video games. Just be a relaxing evening.
8. I almost forgot to end off the vlog properly. I just got into bed with my Kindle and I'm gonna read for a little bit. Everybody else is still up, but I'm beat. I got the first cuff done on my two at a time socks. So tomorrow I just have to cast on the second cuff and get it done. And then they'll be I'll put them both onto the circular needle and then they'll be ready to go for travel knitting on Tuesday. They will be perfect for working on in the airport and on the plane along with my beekeeper cardigan. That's the other thing I'm going to take with me for the travel day knitting. But yes, I think that will end off the vlog for today. I don't know if you can hear that. Somebody has fireworks. The dogs are going to freak out. Our dogs hate fireworks. Oh my gosh, they hate them. They're probably pacing downstairs right now. Eric's with them, so don't worry that they're by themselves. Eric's downstairs with them. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and end off the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.